blow it. Be careful. Mm. Mm, feel good? It's good? It's, it's good. good? Is it good? It's good. It's good. My foodie fam from far and wide, this is How To Foodie Nation. Today is all about dessert and it's coconut ice cream using Chief's custard powder. So let's get churning. So good things come to those who wait. I hear the sound of the ice cream truck. <laughs> How does it go? That's how your ice cream truck, ping, truck ping, is sound? Ping, ping. Okay. Ice cream time, people! Yay. We're doing coconut ice cream today. Mm -hmm. So um, excited. Obviously, we have to do the proper way. Yes. We are using fresh coconut and uh, we need to make some coconut milk. Okay, I, I have no idea how to make coconut milk. Come on, Kes. Do you squeeze it? Do you? Yeah, you have to. Listen, there's many ways to skin our cat, but we're going oh, to do it one way. we blender. Okay. We're going to blend it today. Cool. So, we have one dried coconut that has mm -hmm. been, um, uh, the shell has been removed. I put in the small little pieces already. Husk so, just there. add them in? The nice brown things. Put them in just like that. Okay. And uh, I'm going to be adding in one cup of water. Ah. We are going to blend it and then we're going to strain it. So we're going to get that milk coming out. So let's go. Just like that. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And of course, the more coconut you put is the stronger it will be. I get by the cover. Give me the cover. Thank you, my friend. You know how to operate this? I see you and the thing matching. I mean... Motor, like all the clashing. I think you just had to press a button on a blender, right? Push, push our button. Press Which button. one? So we pause it for one second and mm -hmm. I would like you to use the black spatula and push sure. down the top shards so they could get a little bit of love Stick inside things it. things down in there. Exactly. Bam, bam, bam. So I'm using just one cup of water because I want it to be intensely coconutty. Strong flavor. Strong flavor. Put two cups, three cups, it gets saturated. Beautiful stuff. That's it. As simple as it is. Wow. And what we need to do is take this off. Okay. You got a turn. You got a turn. You got a turn. Right. Thank right. you. Push this to the side here for me, madam. Right. Um, I got a little strainer right here. So this is how we get the milk out of the coconut. Okay. We pour it out like this. Mm -hmm. And just a little at a time, use the silver spoon or that, so you can press it out. I think this is fine. And that's it. Now, by pressing it, you can use your hand. You could use like a piece of uh, net. Ah, okay. And, and just press down on that. Bring it and so mm -hmm. forth like that. Um, it works well inside there, nevertheless. Um, I think pretty much when you squeeze it out, you get the true essence of the coconut, nevertheless. Mm -hmm. So there are many mm -hmm. different ways to do this. I right? think that's all we could get out of this batch, you know. All we want is about a cup, my dear. So you know what? We take this out and let's continue straining it. Okay. I think we got a nice yield here of the coconut milk. Mm -hmm. And what I have here is actually these shards. So okay. after you press it out, mm -hmm. that's dry. Yeah, and we have all this stuff that we shouldn't waste. We could toast it up and you add it back to the ice cream later if you want. Or if you're making like things like coconut bake, oh, okay. put it inside there so you get the nice little fragments of the coconut going on. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we don't try to waste here. We're going to keep that and maybe I'll waste put it in the ice cream. Nuts. All right, so pot on the stove, medium right. heat, all right? What now? We are going in with some evaporated milk. So this is for the ice cream base? Yes, we're making the custard part ah, of it. Okay. All right. This is what's going to be tuning. Mm -hmm. So it's a milk based thing. Um, you want to add any coconut milk for me? Sure. My hard work. Yes. And obviously it's nice and thick. So you know it's going to be strong and concentrated. You can scrape it out with the spatula. Sure. And uh, not much to scrape though. Well, Zombie waste not, it. want not. True, 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 that true, little true. essence there actually would make a difference in the ice cream. True, true, and a little true. bit of shards inside there is no big thing. It actually adds character to the, you know, the finished product. Got it. We have heavy cream. I take that from you. Thanks. Heavy cream is so important, Kezi, okay. when making ice cream. Why? Because it gives it the texture, ah. the thickness. It is rich. Mm -hmm. It is velvety. And you do need it inside there. So okay. you can see you can see the texture of it. Yeah, it is thick. It's all stuck in the jar. So we have the evaporated milk for that additional sweetness and uh, that heavy cream going on inside there. We have the coconut milk. Now, at this point in time, uh, if you did not add the coconut milk, mm -hmm. let's say you would have added something like cocoa powder. Right. You could have taken it along that chocolate. Ah, so you could have kind of flavored the base. Exactly. Got it. Now, speaking about flavor, we need the sweetness That's in our life. sweet stuff. That's condensed milk. I think sweet boy. So you want to put that inside there. You can use sugar also inside there. I like the condensed milk because it does add to the texture of the uh, ice cream. 
Ah, uh, creamy. It don't have to wait for the sugar to melt inside mm -hmm. there. So it True. thickens it up because yes. condensed milk is, is thick when you think about it. We are going to be adding vanilla essence. You want to go inside there? Sure. Again, maybe if you want almond essence, you can inside there. Being that mm -hmm. it's coconut we're doing, we're doing vanilla today. You can add mix, mixed essence also inside there. It's not okay. a problem. Now, that is just as it is right now. Mm -hmm. But we need to thicken this up and bring it in together. So, is this time for the secret weapon? This is time for the star secret ingredient. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at the Chief Brand Custard Powder right. inside there. Now, basically this is what is going to give the ice cream its thick texture, mm -hmm. bring it in together. It's also going to give it a velvety, smooth finish. Okay, so we need custard in yes. the ice cream. And the beauty about this is that traditionally, sometimes like in restaurants or across the world, they would use egg yolks to thicken it up. Ah. But then if you're fasting, especially like around the Diwali yeah, time, you can't, you can't use eggs. You can't indulge. And mm -hmm. ice cream should be something that you should be able to enjoy Anytime. throughout the course of the year. I agree. So this is an excellent option if you're fasting mm -hmm. or you just, want, you just want to stay away from eggs. So you want to definitely invest in the Chief Brand Custard Powder. Now, we put it inside there like that mm -hmm. and I want you to whisk it in for me. And you need to put it in at this point in time. So as it starts to thicken or cook rather, it dissolves inside there. You would get a slight little yellowish color that is the color of custard powder naturally. Okay. But nevertheless, you're on the right path at this point in time. What I like about this custard powder, not only does it have a thickening agent inside of it, a chief brand, but even like when I was speaking on a conference virtually, I think two weeks ago with some of the top chefs throughout the Caribbean from the resorts and sandals right. and so forth, they were saying that this is what they use when making their, pas their, their pastry creams, yes. their fillings for eclairs, Bavarian creams. That good stuff. Oh gosh, eclairs. We could get some of these with the ice cream? Yeah, one thing at a time. <laughs> If you want us to make it clear at some point in time, let us know, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and share the video. We are making coconut ice cream today, another favorite here throughout the Caribbean and in Trinidad and Tobago. We are trying to get all these favorite recipes of y'all done and obviously accomplished. We want you all to be able to endeavor it. So whisk it vigorously. I'm Sorry, going I'm whisking slow. A little, a little harder. Now, what we are at is at a medium heat. I'm going to bring it up a little bit. What you don't want to do is boil this. Okay. Sometimes we always say boil the custard. That is wrong. Why? Because it has milk product inside here. Okay. Milk tends to bubble up and overflow. Ah, and it gets messy. And it denatures the milk, mm -hmm. damages its ability to churn. So you ice want- Ice cream science? Ice cream science, trust me. So you have respect for the milk. Mm -hmm. So I'm bringing it up to medium to high heat at this point in time, and you want to let it, you need to watch it. Okay. Let it simmer. Okay. And as you, as you whisk it, it's going to get thicker and yeah. thicker. Yeah, yeah. So, I think we're pretty good right now. Don't worry about those little clumps. They will work their way out of there, the little okay. yellow aspect. Bring this up to a simmer, and then we're going to start to whisk it. So just wait for maybe five minutes, yes. and we're going to check back on it, yes. All right, so we're looking. Is that bubbles I've seen there? Those are the bubbles. Right, it's not boiling, so it's simmering. Light bubbles breaking the surface. So we're good there. How is the texture, though? You feel the thickness in there. Like, you can even see with the movement. It's nice and slow. Well, that's the custard powder coming into action mm -hmm. there, all right? You want to ta taste it? If yes. I want to taste it. Because you're like a done. Sure. She don't pass nothing. <laughs> right, just tell me what, what flavor is coming through and so forth like that. Blow it. Be careful. Mmm. Mm, Feel good? It's good? It's, it's good. good? Is it good? It's good. It's all right, good. all right, great. So here's what we're going to do. I, um, I need you to help me here. Yes. Um, I'm going to pour it into this, sure. um, into this dish mm -hmm. and please guide me with the spatula. Sure. Will do. All right, so we're going in. Go ahead, my friend. Yeah, you're good, you're good. You're I don't good. want you to get burnt. I don't want to get burnt either. All right, there you go. Mm -hmm. Now what we got to do with this, Kezi, is we're going to allow this to chill. If right. you have a more shallow bowl, you can use it. Right. And you want to go for maybe about three to four hours until it gets cold. Okie dokie. You cannot churn this while it's hot. Yeah because it, ice cream is not going to come in together. Okay. So as you see these little steam coming out, mm -hmm. out of it. So I'm going to put it in chiller now, and then you'll see the next step. So All let right. it get cool and nice. Cool. Nice and cool, nice and cool, Kezi. So this is the texture we're looking for? This is for. what we're looking for. It is okay. very important that you chill it down. Yeah. Otherwise, it just does not work on you. Not gonna work. Take my advice, please. Okay. This is very important. So you could see this nice viscosity mm -hmm. And it smells so good. I mean, I was thinking, apart from other flavors, even if you were to add things like lemon zest or orange zest to it. To get fancy. To get fancy, it would also fancy. give great flavor. So, mm -hmm. <sighs> ice cream maker. This. Is the fancy, yes. This is the fancy. This has a built-in compressor inside of it inside there. So this doing all the work. 
it does all the work, this keeps it cold. Now, if, please don't be scared. If you do not have one of this, the traditional pail, ice cream pail, I mean, well. what if you don't even have ice cream pail? What, what are we even, doing? Not even the tuning one? Not even that. Okay, so what you can do... I don't do, have any at home. You can take like a white Pyrex dish, mm -hmm. you pour this into it. Right. Put it into your freezer. Mm -hmm. Let it freeze for about two hours. Okay. Take it back out, take a fork and scrape the ice cream. It ah. will start to create like, almost like a semi-frozen consistency. Then mm -hmm. put it back again. Let it go for a half an hour. Pull it back out. Scrape it again. Ah, it so go. you're doing it in stages. Stages. Then. Basically what happened? doing what the machine would do for you. But the thing about it, this churns, mm -hmm. so it keeps on moving it and prevents right. ice crystals from appearing. Right. That's why we scrape the ice cream mm -hmm. in the Pyrex to show right. ice crystals. Otherwise, you'll just end up with a block of yeah. cream. So Pressed. it's very important. So we don't need to scrape anything. This is churning. You want to help me? Okay, sure. Let's do this. All right. Um, okay. Let me grab this. For hold you. that for me now, please. I'm going to put in half of this inside here. Mm -hmm. Because you never oh, want no. to, you never, that's all right. You never want to overwhelm <laughs> your ice cream. Maker. Mess. That's all right. I come in to join you with that mess now. Okay, cool. Right, so half inside here. Yes. Never want to pull it up because it overwhelms the machine. Okay. Put this inside here, my so little tuna. So what if I wanted some texture in my ice cream? Oh yes, all right, Kezi. Just, all just right, all thing. right. Okay, so the same coconut that we grated earlier mm -hmm. on, or blended rather, just take some like that. And you put it inside just like that. A Not too much. Something, something. Just to add the texture, you're right. Because yeah. he knows how stuff, you know. Something in the just have to trust in the process. <laughs> yes. We're going inside here now, putting in my paddle. Okay. And this should be in a zone. You're getting fancy here, girl. Yeah, your machine, how you getting technical, my yeah, friend? Yeah, girl, I tell you. We're going inside here, just mm -hmm. like that. All right, beautiful. All right. All right, and we put it on, and then we just let it go. Oops. There we go. That's and we put it on. It. So, that's it? And we set it for the time. I'm going to let this go for about 35 minutes according to the specifications of this machine. Mm -hmm. Your ice and your ice cream pail at home might be different. Mm -hmm. But you, you don't want to go for longer than 45 minutes because mm -hmm. the ice cream, if overturned, it could turn it into butter. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to show you what this looks like after 35 minutes so you'll get to understand what the texture is all about. 35. I think, I think we're looking good there. Yeah. Yeah, so I took off the cover right. and uh, taken off the arm now and I want you to look at the texture of this. Okay. So I'm going to lift it up like this, all right? That's some beautiful coconut ice cream. Goodness, looks like soft serve. It's like soft serve. The mm -hmm. thing about it is that when you make ice cream, it does not come up perfectly hard right. as it is. So what happens is that you have to then put it into a vessel, plastic container, glass container, whatever mm -hmm. it is, and you have to allow it to then freeze overnight again. Ah, so it comes okay. out so, so it doesn't come halfway through. Yeah, pretty much. It doesn't come out perfectly hard. Mm -hmm. Remember, this is just a churn to allow the cream to precipitate right. and develop those little clumps. All right, uh, okay. I'll save this for you later. I can't really want to lick that. <laughs> right, so we take out this. You sometimes you can take out the pea like this. Mm -hmm. And Cute. there we go. And we scoop it out. And I'm seeing the little shards of coconut inside there. Yes. Those Look little that. bites of goodness. That's that good coconut ice cream, girl. Mm-hmm. that. So now we're back to the freezer. We're back to the freezer now. Overnight. Overnight. Well, at least I would say six minutes, but it needs to firm up. Okay. And you know, smooth it out a little bit for me. Sure. All right, just to get it all nice and uniformed. Come on, nice and it, it does look like soft silver. It really does. And that beautiful custard powder from Chief Brand, obviously, gives that nice thickening and then that smooth consistency that we spoke about yes. earlier on. So, Easy right. peasy. Beautiful. So as it is now, I'm going into the freezer. Sure. Let me handle that. Mm -hmm. And we shall enjoy it when it's completely done. All right. Stay tuned. So sweet stuff. This is what I call a healthy serving of ice cream. <laughs> Look at that stuff. Kezi, why you doesn't encourage me to take all these large portions for <laughs> you? <laughs> you mama guy in me here with a, a I mean, sweet, healthy portion. This is what you call a, a little taste. Just I, a little taste. I was, you know, think about this. You can imagine Kezi working in an ice cream parlor. First mm. of all, the cost could be high. Mm. <laughs> the scoops, if you, the scoops will be big. I'll be giving generous servings, you're welcome. Well, if anybody out there wants to make this ice cream and sell, well, you could probably look for Kezi. Or probably Kezi might be looking for you all. I'm willing to serve. Come on, let me dig into this now. You see, it have nice toasted coconut on top. I just took some of the coconut at the end, toasted it up in the oven. Mm -hmm. Pretty much good to go. My spoon was already in and Well, I know you're always spooning. You're good to go. Oh, yes. Look at that. It's so creamy. Look at that beautiful. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> 
Shogun. Mm -hmm. Why is it that ladies love dessert so much? Chocolates, cheesecake, ice Because they sleep like us. Come on. We know how to get to your hearts, you know, ladies out there. Mm -hmm. I mean, at least Chef Jason knows how to do that. Get them something sweet. This, lovely. My favorite part is that creamy texture, like that custard. Ooh! But as, so as you mentioned, the custard, remember, it is eggless. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So even if you're fasting... This is perfect. This is the perfect one for everybody. Diwali time perfect, huh? Yeah, this is it, this is it. Okay. Of course, that toasted coconut on top, yum. Texturally, yeah. it is something that works well in it. And I mean, mm -hmm. at this point in time, even if you make ice cream, feel free if you want to fold in things like maybe vanilla cookies inside there, even coconut cookies. Ooh. They have these coconut, coconut crumbles. You yeah. can just crumble them, mm. put them inside. You put wafers inside, they get really creative. You can make trifles with it. Put it in some, put some cake on top, some fruits. How about an ice cream sandwich? Ice cream shakes. So oh much oh to do with gosh. this. You see, what any other that? ideas on how you eat ice cream? Any fun ideas? Let us know, comment below, subscribe, mm -hmm. share. You know, let us know basically what other ice creams you want us to make, what other recipes on this show. We've been in a very sweet mood these days, only yeah. desserts, desserts. You know, we love hearing from you guys. We love seeing your pictures, your comments, especially from our friends at home, like our good friend, Miss Vanessa Dubison. Love hearing back from you guys. So be sure if you try this, take a picture, show it to us. Let us know how it goes. By all means, you know, I mean. If you open an ice cream shop, call me. You will check out Kezi on Instagram. <laughs> Kezi does eat. Because she does. She does eat. She does. You know what I mean? So, guys, until the next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We'll